Here we are at the paint factory with CK, Carol, the, our, the fabulous mayor, Carolyn Kirk. Good morning, Joey. And Ian Kerr. And this is a very, uh, this is a big, big t uh, point in the history of the paint factory. Uh, Ian, why don't you explain what's going on today? Very exciting. 30 years ago, work stopped at the paint factory. And this week, work will start again. We've broken the project up into wooden buildings and brick buildings, okay, okay, but luckily due to a grant from the EPA that came through the city of Gloucester, and thanks to the support of the city, we actually start work on the paint manufacturing this week. I mean, I gotta tell you, it can't be more exciting, very exciting. So, um, and again, we've received enormous support from the city, but there's a lot of talk and, you know, press, there's a lot of mixed stories, but work starts this week. Carolyn, can you tell me what, this, what, what role did the city play in making this happen? Can you to this point? Well, the phase that we're at right now is the environmental cleanup. So taking care of some of the contamination on the site. The city's given a direct grant of $200,000 that we obtained through a ground field program that the city participates in with EPA and a $150,000 loan. So three fifty dollars is the total contribution from the city. And then the paint factory on its own was able to obtain an additional amount. So it's, it's sufficient to get the work going in a very meaningful way. Way. And as, as we know, anything get, that gets done on the waterfront is difficult, but, but your administration ha had to have seen through, there's ob always obstacles, what, what certain obstacles did you help to make this happen? Well, we supported the project. Um, we felt that the organization, Ocean Alliance, would make a huge contribution to the city. We supported um, Ian's efforts to, and sort of shepherded through the permitting process and obtaining the, the grant. As you know, the economy's been tough in the last two years, and the project's, I don't know, a little bit behind schedule, but it stood the test of time because it's such a great project. So we've stood by uh, the paint factory and Ocean Alliance under the leadership of Ian Kerr in the last couple of years. Ian, what can we expect to see on this site? What is your vision, and, and what can people, how can the community, what will the, community derived from this in, in, in your view? Well, you know, as a, I, I started my life as a boat captain. I now captain a desk, which is far less exciting, but can be difficult waters. But I think one tragic thing nowadays is, is people are getting cut off from the waterfront, particularly the working waterfront. We have over a thousand foot of waterfront here, so part of it is, is you know, allowing us and, and the city and, and both kids and visitors and adults sort of re-access to, to the waterfront. So we're hoping, obviously our core work is oceanography, we look at ocean pollution, we're hoping to send our research vessel, the Odyssey, down to the Gulf of Mexico quite soon, but we hope to have you know, this this complex will be a part of the working waterfront, will just be a different aspect, you know what I mean? And there will be a lot of room, there will be a lot of room in some of these buildings here where community events can happen, where we can bring kids down, and even if they're not doing our work, maybe they're working with the, um, the uh, um, you know, the Whale Center of New England or the Maritime Heritage Center or the Schooner of Gloucester, we'll have room for people here to come down on collaborative programs. I saw on your website there was a library, That's there was correct. an auditorium space. That's correct. Are these still things that are still in the plan? Absolutely. I think the initial plan by Cambridge 7 was, was um, was was you know quite grand and but I think you know when you start a project you gotta go big. If we have to scale back, okay, but you know what? Let's start by going big and, and actually I'm still confident it's gonna happen. I mean I'm dedicating my life and a, and a lot of our resources to this because I see for Ocean Alliance, it, what an opportunity. You know, a location like this and the city have been incredibly supportive, as have the people and the mayor. I mean, when I typically go out and talk about a project, I have to sort of explain about pollution. When I talk about the paint factory, people get it, people love it. Absolutely. So the, other, the other thing I want to just say is along Roger Street at I4C2, if you're standing there, and since we've opened up that lot, the view across the harbor to the paint factory is magnificent. You can draw a line from from here to I4C2 to City Hall. Absolutely. It's, it's like straight, it's almost like a direct line. Yep. 
Ian, where can people find out more information about Ocean Alliance and the paint factory? Well, again, go to oceanalliance.org. That's one word, oceanalliance.org. Um, we haven't been spending as much money as we should on, on our website and stuff, but we've spent a lot of money. People may not have seen stuff going on here, but if you ask the neighbors, there have been trucks and survey vehicles. We know this property better than anybody else. So we've spent a lot of money on the property, maybe not as much as we'd like to on the PR, but I think that's now going to change that so that work has started. Fantastic. Thanks so much, guys. Well, you know, Joey, thank you because for getting the word out. We really appreciate it. Good Thanks, stuff. Joey.